Name another podcast, how I like this Cause E, he gon' swag it like me He came from the bottom, he had it like me He know how to hustle, he scurry out the streets He got it you want it, he charging a fee Official Miss Jamaica Wait, roll a tape, she ain't never fake She gon' be the one to really try to motivate Tell it to your face why the mother hoes hate yeah. Check it, check it, check it, this is Unique House It's your boy ECEO, yeah. and I'm here with the lovely Amazing, official Miss Jamaica What's going on? Nothing, nothing, you know my dad Well, go on, man, and hold y'all up. don't forget To like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms we just started doing Patreon so y'all need to hop on over to Patreon check it out subscribe do our membership you gonna see some stuff that you've never seen nowhere else man hold up guess what man I done up and done it man I got him here man he in the building man this guy right here don't need no introduction man this home team man East Texas stand up man yes, bigger bag Tim is in the building Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's good? Man, what's going on, man? Thank you for coming on the show. Man, I'm grateful to be here, baby. Man. Boss talk. Man, what, 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 a, what a boss's talk. Yeah. What a boss's talk, man. Yeah. Let's go. So you said East Texas. Uh-huh. What part of East Texas are you from? Longview. Longview. Uh-huh. Okay. Man. You know, the sticks. <laughs> man. So you knew Al D growing up? Same yeah. street. Same hood. David Same Street. Hood. David Same. Street. And he knew me when I was a kid, too. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so we've been knowing each other. Yeah. So how was it like? Because I heard his story about how it was in Longview and how bad it was and all, the good times, all that sort of stuff. For you, how was it like growing up in Longview? I mean, the bad time was the good times. Really? Wow. Yeah, the bad time was the good times. Because, you know, hey, we... I mean, that's all we knew, so. But know. not for your mama, though. Your mom, you know, mamas be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. man, I can't yeah. deal with this. Yeah, she was stressed out. Yeah. Yes, y'all be driving yeah. us mamas crazy. But, hey, that, that's, the, that's what happened when the daddy ain't there. Mm. Wow. So Let's where go. was daddy? Man, I mean, he prison. I mean, he, I mean, and I, I ain't saying that. I'm just saying when the daddies ain't there, period. Now, my dad was in prison, though. Okay, but from he, how old were you? When he was you? there, he was there, though. I give him that. How old were you when he went to prison? Oh, uh, maybe, man, I, he was back and forth, so, you know, it probably, he probably went, like, when I was four, then got out when I was 13, went back again, got out when I was 18, so, you know. Did that affect you? Because I, th- I think sometimes a lot of guys, like, you're like, man, the streets was my dad, I didn't care about it, but some people, it did affect. Yeah. But did it affect you? It affects everybody. It affects everybody, you know what I'm saying? That father is something serious, like, if you ain't, that father ain't there, the streets are they dead, so, you know, they ain't. And they ain't trying to hear no man tell them what to do if if you ain't putting nothing in their pocket. Mm-hmm. Now, if you put something in their pocket, then, and the main person they're going to put something in your pocket is the person that's in the streets that can, you know what I'm saying, we can we can come up together. So so do you, feel, do you feel like if your father was there, you would have done things differently oh, as a most, child? Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Mm-hmm. I, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I'm a living witness right now. You know, I come home from prison and, Grab my son, you see what I'm saying? It's, it's just all about, and if you grab him at the right time, you can lead him. Cause they That's gonna true, look, the right the, time. The son going to look up to you. He, you know, he going to yeah. admire you and want to be like you if you if you got that mind state. But how old was he when you got out of prison? Uh, I was 13. I, I admire my pops, too. Like I said. I, no, how old was your son, your son, oh, when you son? got out of prison? Oh, he was probably <coughs> maybe eight. So he was still really young. Yeah. So you know, I grabbed him, and he's on he's on a great path. You know what I'm saying? Like a whole different path. He's on the path that I'm on now. So mm-hmm. yeah. because the only thing I can think of, with young boys, especially because you were 13 when your daddy came home at one point, and um, your daddy went to, to prison for drugs, selling drugs, or doing any of that. I think it was some pimping and pandering and okay. drugs. Okay. Like no, the reason why I'm saying that because a lot of times I've heard all these different cases and that's why I'm bringing it up is that you come back, you change your life, you know, you, you're trying to, you're not going to make money right off the bat when right. you're trying to change your life. It takes a while right. to build it up. Uh-huh. But some kids looking at you when you was balling, when you were at home, you know, <laughs> making out money, driving nice cars, doing all that. That's what they're looking at. What's glittering? Right. So they're looking at that and be like, "Man, that's what I want." You lame right now. You coming out and doing this? This you lame. Yeah. So a lot of kids be like, "Man, I ain't listening to you." Even although it's their dad. Right. right yeah. You you understand man, what I, I mean? Man, I understand it. I I got an older daughter. You know what I'm saying? And and she was living on my old life. Mm-hmm. She was so addicted to my old life and the old me. So when I came home and squared up, 
and switched up my kicks only for them. You know, she looking like, I thought, you know, she looking like listening to all the stories. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm lame now. I'm a square. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So she not understanding, like, the square is really the way. Out the way is the way. Well, are you able to get through to her? I'm working. I'm still working on her. <laughs> I'm working. So, you know, they mom passed away. So, you know, she ain't kind of got that. You know what I'm saying? So, they, right. you know saying? so it's, it's all me. So, wow. Wow. Well, yeah. it ain't all. You know, yeah, you got a family yeah. and yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. How old is she? Uh, she 15 now. Okay, okay. So, yeah, yeah you still got time. You still yeah, got And she man. live with you. Oh, yeah. See, yeah, you got yeah. time. But, yeah, girls are different. Yeah, them girls. So, yeah, who we? Yeah, we picked up. We got my daughter, my oldest daughter, moved with us when she was fourteen. Mm -hmm. So I definitely get it. Um, Cause she's twenty eight now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, twenty seven. No, yeah. twenty eight. Twenty eight. Yeah, man. So, man, um, just school. How was school like? Did you play sports when you were younger, or did you just, or you just was just a knucklehead? I was. I was. A, I was athletic, but I didn't play. I didn't play sports because my. Uh, mine wasn't there. Like, you know, when I was growing up, bad was good. Being bad was good, so I was really being bad. You know what I'm saying? So my, my grades weren't, and I was very smart, but I just didn't apply. Didn't care. I didn't apply it. You know, you be so smart, you know, I ain't trying to show you I'm smart, and I'm, I don't even care nothing about that. I want to play. I yeah. want to have fun, and, and, and that's the mindset. Just so you can have nobody pushing you like, hey, man, your grades is important. You know what I'm saying? Get that. Go to school for whatever you want and get a bigger bag, like what we talking about now. <laughs> so teachers didn't care? Like, you know, sometimes you hear um, coaches, yeah. teachers that pull the kids to the side, especially if they see that, you know, you might have some promise, whatever. They probably, you know, and, and I'm going to be honest, they probably did. But, you know, when, when you when you a knucklehead, you only listen to what, you know what I'm saying, what you mm -hmm. want to hear. Mm -hmm. and, and I ain't, and they probably said that and they went in one ear. And it was a seed that probably was planted and, and grew later on. But, nah, yeah, and there's a lot of people that were in your ear. Like, they, they probably did. I wasn't paying attention. And you probably had positive role models even yeah. around the community who was trying to help. Yeah. But, but you yeah. still wanted to be what you wanted to be. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, when I got the people that I'm looking up to, this is what they doing. Mm. So I'm, I'm looking up to the dope dealers. I'm looking up to the people that's pulling up in cars. And, and I'm actually really feeling like shit. If my cousin doing it and my big cousin doing it, hey, it's in me too. Yeah. I can obtain the same thing. I, I got the same blood flowing. I, I feel like it's part of life. You feel me? When you're yeah. looking at that and growing up and seeing it, hey, this is part of life. But looking back at your life, exactly what you just said, um, a kid in that same situation right now, feeling the same way you felt back then, what would your advice be to him right now? Because you've been there, done that. You know what I mean? Yeah. My advice now would be now, yeah. Hey man, stay in school, man. Get your grades. And I and I like I said I did a song uh way back in the game telling my same nephew uh the same thing, Malik, uh bad new, uh don't be like me, be better than me, you know what I'm saying? Cuz you know if for a kid at that age right there and my for me, hey man, go to school, man. Get stay smart, man. Win a different way. This, this ain't the way. But you know what they're going to say? Yeah, I'm going to be smarter than you. I just ain't going to get caught. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's what they yeah, say. Yeah, because they always, you know, the kids out. But ain't, I, it, it ain't the kids, though. It's never the kids. It's the adults. It's the fathers. It's the it's the parents. Mm -hmm. You're saying the kids only doing what they see and what they know. Kids don't do what you tell them. They do what but they But it's see. not always the parent because I've heard, you know, I saw my uncle do it. Just like you said, I saw my cousins. Right. Sometimes it's not always the parents. But I say it's the parents because you beat it in their head and you spare the raw, you spoil the child. You see what I'm saying? And not saying that you need to whoop them or whatever, but at the same time, like, I'm talking about beating it in their brain. Like, this is this how serious this is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Instead of, you know, people get... You know, a lot of kids come from nice homes and rich homes, and they, and they sit back and let the, and you know, the, them be the wildest ones that's coming mm -hmm. from the nice homes. They they wilding out hard because, just like I heard, uh, uh, and, and and it was a big influence on especially the, the youth. Uh, old girl that with, with Dirk, what's her name? Uh, what's it? What's his girl name? He was with. Dang, I forgot her name. India or something. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard on. Uh, on the web and I, I just seen, you know, I think it was a reel or something and she was like, 
Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I can't have no nigga unless he's street and ride around with a gun. And so if you got little niggas that's looking up like this here and they saying, oh, this type, this type of chick I can get. That's why I say it's, it, it started a lot with the, with the, with the parents, with the females as well. Because, females, because, what they accept. Yeah, because the dudes are doing a lot of stuff for the females. For the females. You know what I'm saying? Dudes are doing a lot of stuff to get the females. So, if they don't do it for but, the females, they so do it for the, money. So if the females start telling niggas, hey, man, I'm not fucking with you. You ain't got no job. Mm-hmm. You ain't got nothing going for yourself. You, I ain't with that. You, gonna get, you got my life in danger right. by fucking with you. I might be in the car with you and get killed because they want you. And, and they start telling them the real. They're going to be like, yeah, man, I got to follow. It's going to be a bunch of dudes. Like, real man, talk. Real yeah, talk. I got to follow back up. When I um okay you 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 come up a uh, youngster doing your thing you end up bumping your head and having to go do some time just give me a little spill on just how you end up uh, getting in the system um just fully street just fully fully being in the street it's was it was it a hustle happen. was it was it a yeah, solid the hustle, the hustle? Yeah, the, the hustle actually was the hustle but it was a slip up inside the hustle. I'm at the house, you know, not not even, you know what I'm saying, expecting the laws to come to this house because yeah. I ain't doing nothing at this house. But when they come knock on this door, it's a pistol sitting on wow. my table. Wow. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not even, so the law see it. So. Yeah, but uh, was this bef- this the first time you get in trouble? You oh, are- nah. I, I, this is my third, this that's the third time I done been down. That's so, why. Okay, so yeah. I, I want to know about the first time. like when the, you, Oh, the first time, just, man, being a total fuck up and, and didn't care. What what happened? Uh, My first, my first child. And how old were you? I think I was 20. 20. Okay. Yeah, I was 20. Uh, And I got caught with uh, drugs. Drugs. Uh, sir. Sir. Yeah. And so how long did you have to go and stay down? Uh, I got I got a five-year sentence because they, they gave me probation the first time. And in a I, volley? And I... In a violating that on a on a high speed chase with the law. Really? Yeah. What, what was you? What was you at? You was out there by Eastman. What, what you Man, was I was at? out there. On, I was out there on uh Loop Loop Two Eighty One. Loop Two Eighty One Road. Yeah, and they they got behind me. I went from the pull over. Like, I, I got been, home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel so, you on that. Yeah, so. because you had stuff in the car. Nah, I ain't had nothing. In the car. And you still wouldn't pull over. You just nah, didn't I, trust him. Nah, I, ain't, I just get me at the. I actually I had a, a nice little car, so I ain't want you to pound. I ain't had no drive. <laughs> just dumb and young. I'm like, nah, you ain't pounding this car. You, I'm, I'm, I'm the you car gonna make it to the house. And you ain't even thinking. You just I added another think, charge yeah, onto added, that. Yeah, just dumb. A fleeing charge. Just dumb. So, <laughs> right. so, so when yeah, you I'm with all the dumb <laughs> shit, there, you know what I'm saying? So, so when you get to the house, or when you when you get locked up. Uh, they give you your sentence. You have to go before that judge again. They give you your sentence. You get you get sent down. Where you hit the gurney unit or transfer? Where you go to the Middleton? Where did you end up going? Your first gurney. Gurney. Yeah, I went to gurney. Six four out there. Y'all out there kicking it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Thugging. And, and then you know, first time, so it's like you got sticky chest. Yeah, yeah. Like, so you go in. And then what they get you? Put you in a little twenty four man tank. Yeah, you know. What yeah, saying? and so but but they tell you on the Joe F gurney unit. Yeah, I'm already doing push ups in the car. I'm in bed. <laughs> I'm so I got a question about six four is that girl, right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's How long has she been working she, there? Because I, you, you know keep on crazy? saying that. I just seen her. I just seen her in forty. You know? <laughs> How long she been? Because she, she like worked at the gurney unit for a long time. Yeah, she she like still everybody there. She's still there. She's still there. Yeah, because she like everybody her. know like, her. That's six four. Yes. Yeah, okay, let me ask you a question because everybody be talking about six four. Is she that fine? She was. She was she during was. her heyday. Yeah, she was. I just said she ain't there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I still respect her though, cause you, you, she, she held it down. That, she yeah. held it down. She stretched through that like, hey man, God, leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, cause that was a long while back. What year was that? What? Man, that was like two thousand and. One. 2001. Yeah. So you 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 hit the Joe F. Kern unit. Did you have? I mean, when you get there, you in that tank. Did anybody try you? You get your mat. You got to take your mat and all this other old stuff. They cut your hair off. Did but they cut? Then, your, was your hair cut off? Didn't nobody? Yeah, didn't nobody try me because uh, I was already acting up anyway. I was already. I already had my, you know what I'm saying, my my little thing going on. Like I was a wild child anyway. They didn't try me until I got in lockup. Okay. Oh yeah, I got my paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my paper. So, so they got that when you get in lockup, you you young. You this this that young uh, bigger bag team. Yeah, this is it, yeah. This T money. This T money. Yeah. So yeah, it was just crazy, man. Dude, uh, stole my pictures, man, and 
and and yeah, I, I do it. Yeah, and I, I he went to he went to Rick, man, and went and I just some just told me, man, check this dude shit, man. And when I checked this shit, I found it. I found my, I found my pictures in it. Nigga done stole. Them. Yes, I just laid them out on the table. I just laid when he came back from Rick, they were laid out on the table. He already know to put your shoes on, man. I oh, should really? get a beat for you though, but I'm, I'm gonna let you put your shoes on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he oh, knew yeah. what it was. Oh yeah, he was yeah, he was on uh he was on uh we had put him on payroll, man, for like the whole time I was back there. Yeah. I want all your comments here. I want Every you time. to go to the store for me. Yeah. Everything. After I after I after I dropped him. That's real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so how long did you stay out? Did you stay your whole term on, on, on Gurney? Or did you go, did they transfer? Oh no, nah, yeah, I went uh I went to I think my first time I went I think I went to some small you know, I can't even think. I know I went to I think I went to I stayed on Granny for a little minute, then I think I went to a pre release. I went to I can't remember. I just know it was You came home. Yeah, I I done been three times. So I, I know, I, but <laughs> when you came when you come home, like it's always yeah. different stuff going on. Like when you look at your time. Oh. Matter of fact, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I went to uh, Hutchins. You went to Hutchins? Yeah. Went so to you Hutchins. came up to Hutchins. Yeah. That, that's what's up. But when you get out, you come home, okay, and, and this time when you get to the house, you everybody happy, ain't it? Ain't it? Yeah, he home. How long yeah. did you stay gone? You About three that, years? You know, that's crazy. Was it three years? Nigga throw a party for some cool <laughs> shit. Man, I fucked up. What we throwing a party for, man? <laughs> they happy to see you. Yeah, they happy to see me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you think, you know, and, and, and that, but you know, it's, what's crazy is when you come out to that, you know what I'm saying? That, that's, that entices you. Like, it entices you more to come you know back hard, like, right? Like, yeah, because now you like. To go back in that go life. Go back in that life, because. I, I even tried to come to Dallas. I like I went to Longview, seen all the love. My partners got bricks and everything. They, you know what I'm saying? They give me call. Let me, hey, let that motivate you. Drive it, and yeah. Yeah, they man, trying to put you back up. in there. And then here I am. I didn't parole to Dallas. I didn't came back to Dallas. They got me working at Tom Thumb. <laughs> I said, "Fuck this shit, man!" I was going back home. Oh, this ain't this, this ain't me. You know what I'm saying? It's going down at home. Tom Thumb, man, I was at Tom Thumb on Forest Lane, and, and I know exactly where you was at. Forest Lane and oh uh, Princeton. Yeah, man, I was working, man, second grocers. I so said, "Man, nah, it, it this wasn't ain't me, for man. you. This ain't me." So you go back, you go, you move back to Longview. Man, I go back to Longview. When you get back to Longview. It's the second time. Well, I go back to Longview and hustle, but I still stay in down Dallas. There. Then I met. My, oh, you yeah, slick. Yeah. Then I met my little chick. Yeah. I met a little chick that stayed in Houston and went to t talking out, talking fly, uh, about about what she can do for me. I was on my ass. I slid to Houston. Wow. Yeah, that's how I got my two kids right but there. But was you on parole during that time, or you already had lived it down? I had already did on parole. So do you get hit the next time in Houston, or you get hit again in Long? I got hit in Houston. Got hit in Houston? Wow, fucking up in Houston. What you doing in Houston, Why, man? Man, Houston's so turned up. <laughs> <laughs> so you Houston's out in so H-Town. Man, I'm in H-Town. You close to Huntsville right yeah. there. Yeah, I'm from Southwest to Field Ward. I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm in the streets of H-Town. So so, how you end up getting getting jammed up when you get to Houston? Oh, uh, riding! I got pulled over. Matter of fact, uh, the first time, I think uh, I got pulled over. Got caught with some X pills. Yeah, I got caught with some. Yeah, I got caught with some X pills. And then you already had a jacket on your back, so yeah. it went hard to pee yeah. you again. Man, find my stage pot. Pulled him over. Find my stage pot. And I had the X pills in the stage. By yourself? So, yeah. And they, now, and now I had my homeboy with me. He had his old flash head chain on. I had him. That one really got him. That one got him. And you. then he fired up the little cherry. Oh, and so damn. So he fired the cherry up. I said, come on, man. They didn't even get us, man. They got you. That was my boy, though, man. He, yeah. he wasn't thinking nothing of it. You know what I'm saying? He's still around, though? Yeah, yeah. He's, he, I mean, he in Houston. In East Town. Yeah, yeah. So, so when you end up. I got a question. So most of the time when people, because one thing I always trying to figure out, does everybody who sell drugs Take the drugs. <laughs> In your um, no, I, I know your answer, but I'm saying everybody that you was around, including yourself. Now, when we back then, back then. Oh man, we were whole junkies out there, man. Hey, we were little junkies out there, low key. We were getting money, but we were low key junkies. We gonna get. So like, you, I mean, you wasting the product. You using we, your own product, yeah. plus, so you ain't really making the type but of money you're supposed nah, to be making. We we taking that. We taking it uh, at, at certain time, and we ain't. Is we making so much off everybody else? We ain't. We ain't losing on. 
Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So, but at the same time, at the same token, we we wasn't making no money. We really liked it because we we fucking it out. Exactly. Yeah, we we you're right. We were really the dolphin. <laughs> <We, yeah. laughs> Man, so and, and but the, you would think that being because Longview is one of them places where when you think of Longview, man, it's 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 a lot going. They they man, that thing there. Ooh, we man, it's a lot going on. Ooh, that's, that's we man, time. Longview it's, get it popping, nigga. The trenches for real. Yeah, man. yeah. I mean, don't get it twisted. It's a lot of little pockets down yeah, there that'll get yeah, a nigga yeah, caught yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. But Longview, one of them places, nigga, go to the park on Sunday and get on up out of there. You know that's what I'm really, saying? I, you got to. You can't just start. You can't come from out of town and just go to chilling too hard. No, because like, they gonna start now they plotting. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I used to bring homies from Houston, and hey man, man them dude man. Hey, I had to tell. Hey, he with me, man. They was already plotting. He ain't been there but a day. Damn. Hey, so, they, uh, he he tugging in the chain. I remember the nigga tugging in the chain. My partner looking at him like. He don't know he with me. We at the Waterburg. We even came from the club. We at the Waterburg. Man in the car. I had to walk around. Hey, man, quit looking at him like that. He with me, man. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> probably mad. Hey, hey, he was ready to get it. Mm-hmm. He had on eighty thousand, eighty thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you when you when you get jammed up over there, going back to that, you end up going back again. And uh, hey, Houston, yeah. How much they end up time? They end up giving you that time. The last time I went back home, <clears throat> I went back. That was to the last time in Houston. No. Nah. That my time is okay. The last time I went back home, I left Houston, went back home, turned up, turned up. That's where we turned up the money, Trump, uh, Trump or that shit, the music shit. Took everything I learned from H Town. Ain't gonna lie, H Town got. I, yeah. I, I feel like my thing was H Town got their own thing. East Texas need their own thing. Yeah. So I was gonna be our own thing because we was always looking up to Houston. You know, we love Houston, we love Dallas, we love the city. But when I came home. Nigga, we we live too. Yeah, we need to talk about what we nigga was rapping about swangers, and that ain't our thing. You know what I'm saying? We we need to talk about we trapping out here. We we this we on the street shit out here. Number the hustling. Yeah, we yeah. need to talk about that. That's so. what niggas don't really realize that that in the East Texas area, yeah. there's some hustling niggas down yeah. there, yeah. and that's what people don't be, they be sleeping yeah. on. So it, 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 like so that was my thing. Like, let me be the one to speak on what we doing out here. Yeah, so that's when I, that's how my music came about. So and you was doing music to, and when you went that second time. Yeah. So when you get in there and you get jammed up, you go to this time. What they seen? They didn't send you back to Gurney. They send you Middleton. Uh, uh-uh, they sent. Where I go? Uh, this time I went to. Uh, I think I went through Gurney yeah, again. I went, yeah, I went through Gurney again. Yeah, you know I went through Gurney. You know I'm coming out of uh 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 East Texas. I'm coming out of Long Beach. So I went to Gurney. I thought they, but they jammed me in Houston, but then they no, no, nah, that my. Third time, my third time, I, I I got jammed in Longview. No, I'm talking about that second time when you went. How long did you stay in when you went? When you was oh, in my Houston? second time, I probably stayed down two years. Two years. Yeah, I stayed down two years. I, I think I went to. Uh, I went to. Uh, That's the, the one I was asking you about. Yeah, you that, went to. Where did you go back then yeah, to? Do you remember? Uh, I think, dang, which one I went to then? Cause I, man, it was a, it was a little. I was think. it Hutchins? It, it wasn't the one that you already had been to, was it? I can't remember. I can't, man. I swear to God, I can't remember. Cause that first time they let you off, when they let you out, they let you out at Golden Gate. No, 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 no. You know what? It's some East East something. East Ham? Nah, not East Ham. I was on East Ham though, my my third time. But nah, it's like it's it's, it's up there. Uh, What's it? The one in Houston. I can't think of the one. In oh, Houston. it's in Houston. Yeah, they, I think it's outside of Houston, but it's the one they you go to when you leave from Houston. It's like it's like Grandy though. I it is. Think, I think it's, it's the west and the east. I can't even remember what. The, and, and so when you end up going there, are you used to it now. You've been doing time now. Yeah, you know how to do time. time. Yeah. How old are you at that time? Shit, man, I probably was twenty. No, nah, yeah, because twenty. I said I was twenty, twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah. So then you you basically you stayed about twenty seven. Yeah, by twenty seven. So you end up going back again. What making you bump your head like this, <laughs> nigga? God, they, they, but the streets be calling a nigga. But the last time, man, I really, I really was, I really was on my best shit. I was on my best shit. I just slipped up. I slipped up hard. Like you know what I'm saying? It was my slip up. I uh, you know, had that gun. I always had my like my house, my house was a house. Like I had guns everywhere. Like they only got them two. That was in the in the front room. It was I, more. Yeah, and they, they asked me to search the house. That, that was so crazy. Long we lost so so trash. They just was so happy to have them two pistols, and they they was good. 
They had drank and everything in the refrigerator. Pills in the drought. They didn't know, even look at none of that. Nah, they ain't looking at none of that. They just knew they had you because you didn't put me around that gun. SK sitting right. All they had to do was walk in. They, walk they, in, just, they knew they had you. They was happy with them two, and they asked me, like, man, we want to, can we get a search one? I said, nah, I can't give you the right searches out. It, wow. ain't, it ain't in my name. Yeah. And, I, and, and she, they, So they, they send you that. How long did you have, did they give you this last time? Uh, 17 years. 17 years? Hmm. Two pistols. And how long did you have to stay? Because that was the third time. Yeah, my third time. So, yeah, they enhanced it. You know what I'm saying? So it, they, they enhanced my choice. So I got 17 years. I did six on it. Did six on it. Came mm -hmm. home. Yeah. How long you been home now? Man, I've been home like uh, four years. Four years. Three, yeah, close to four years. Three Man, years, three years. Proud three years. of you, brother. Yeah. Proud of you. Yeah. Yeah. How was it like um, coming home? After yeah, the coming six home years. and readjusting, and you know, because social media, everything changed, music changed, yeah, all like, of that. Like, a lot. It was, hey man, hey man. It was. Uh, I was determined though. I was already. I had knew I was a boss before I left, so that boss mentality never left me. But uh, I was determined. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy, but I was determined, and, I, and a lot of people didn't. A lot of people didn't believe that. Uh, what I was saying because it was it was a lot of talk, so I just quit talking. Yeah, because um, a lot of people, everybody knows somebody who's been to prison yeah. or is in prison, and when you're in prison, they talk a lot of stuff. They talk everything yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, I found God. I'm gonna come out and I'm yeah. gonna do this, this, but this, again, this. But again, let me say this: just cause a nigga say that, you can tell in there with that nigga that he ain't found God. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? You know yeah. that nigga ain't found yeah, God. Right. He telling mama and him that. Yeah. But a nigga that's in yeah. there with him, no, that nigga has not found. He, he but in for the, the day room. Outside, he out here, won't he, know. He, he, he jacking off in the day room. Yeah. He doing all kind of stuff. <laughs> this nigga ain't changed. But for the people yeah, outside, yeah, 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 the we, mama, the sister, we, the girlfriend, they don't know. They write them letters. We people, got time. And, and people need to know, man. Hey, man, stop it, man. You know what I'm saying? Stop. And the niggas in jail need to stop it, man. <laughs> Come on, man. If, if you don't want to, this was you know what I'm saying. Everybody in the penitentiary ain't hard. That's you know right. What I'm That's and right. Niggas come out like they done did some shit. It ain't, and ain't weak and as not, hell. And you was in there in the Bible and all this here and using using uh the Muslim the Muslims game trying to be a part of the Muslim for some protection all this. and 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 not speaking on LD because LD I'm 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 gonna clear this up that nigga they're gonna go with anybody and win or lot win or lose I'm he from my hood I'm telling you, I ain't just saying that I didn't seen him try to fight one of the hardest niggas in my hood yeah you know yeah what I'm yeah like, and. and and, and his shoulder was out that day. Wow. The man, shoulder was in the sling. And, and, the, and the big homie like, man, I ain't finna go on. We, we can go. It's him. We can go right there. With the sling. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, like, I'm just saying, it's a lot of dudes in, the, in, in prison, man, that, you know what I'm saying, that need to stop and, and just be with reality and stop feeling like I got to tell people I change and just... Just do what you do, man. You ain't got to, I mean, read your word, man, whatever, and, and you using it for comfort, but don't try to push that on your people out here and lie to your people, manipulate your people, because you're messing up for real niggas. They're really... Trying to change. Yeah, they're really on that. You know, they coming out and they, and they doing something different. So, but, hey, man, it's, it go both ways, what, too, because these females be lying, too. But I want, what I wanted to ask you, because I know earlier you, you mentioned that when you went back to East Texas... You were all about rapping about East Texas and what you were doing down there and stuff like that. And when you say that, I think about, because you say y'all were trapping, hustling, doing all of that. The only thing I could think about when you're saying stuff like that is the Rico. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It's, it's, but I'm like, I'm, look, I'm, I'm the first one to really, to, to, like way then when in court, they were using my music then. So they were using your was, music to convict I'm you. The yeah, they were using my music then. You can't say you were the first one. No, you were the first I'm one. I'm one of the first ones that 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 really and I because I, I I ain't know nobody else that they were using music. Mm -hmm. What did they court. say to? What song was it that they were playing? Uh, the the man was going to all of my shows. The police were going to all of my shows, taking pictures. But what song was it that they was most uh, trying to hold? That they pulled up. deep in the game. Uh, that deep in the game. Deep in the game. Uh, you know he was using a uh, song. He was like, man, uh, he he was like, I, I I know a lot of this song. The man got on the stand. The police. I know a lot of this song. He made good, he is it's some good music. He even said that. <laughs> hey, but but <laughs> it, they not only did they use that, they used my 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 uh music as a game. 
You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they they. What was these, the name what, of the gang that they was trying to say? David Street. David Street. You know what I'm saying? Cause they didn't know me by Money Trump. See at that time, it was Money Trump. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so they, they they didn't know who Money. All they knew was T Money. And like I say, I switched it up to Bigger Bag Tim because I wasn't finna ride with no money to Trump and Donald Trump done fucked it up, but that's another story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what but, I'm saying? But, but you uh, but they knew you and they were trying to hold you. They didn't know they knew I was David Street. They knew you know what I'm saying, T Money was, but they didn't know who Money Trump was. So they seeing me in the videos with all the gang members. So they trying to yeah, they putting that two and two together. Oh yeah, he had Roach going across the you know what I'm saying? My partner Roach, he a white boy moving a lot of dope. You know what I'm saying? That's a white black boy, so mm-hmm. he he. I'm talking about he he hot. I'm hot boy. About the feds on his ass hard. I'm telling him keep his truck out my yard. That's how hot he was. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So he was in the video. Wow. So, and, uh, and just the rest of the David Street members. So you know they try to use that as and, and David Street really is a family. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, but like I say, you, you, the people switch it up. So y'all wasn't thinking about it, knowing that all this could be used against you at that time. Man, we we. Or you just didn't we, care. Really, we wasn't smart. You see, what I'm saying, you when you hungry, and you want it, you you don't wait. Like the smartest thing was to do was get the money first, stack the bag up, make the music, get all the way out the way of the streets. But we wasn't making no money out of music. We was making money out of the trap, sitting the trap down and going to do shows, whatever. We didn't give a damn about the money. We just wanted to let you know we here. We were making money, but now. The game so <laughs> the game so good to where you got the streaming service. You got you know you ain't we ain't know nothing about no streaming. YouTube, streams then, all kind of so, stuff. You know, but so, so we just wanted to trap and rap. But you said the game's so good with the music, the streaming, and all that. But then you still have some rappers out here still can't leave the street alone because they making more money out there than they do with their music. Correct. Because they really not making no money like they saying. Not, it look good on the internet. You see what I'm saying? Because if they really making money like that, you gonna protect yourself. You see what I'm saying? And you gonna and, and if you really got and they really ain't got a lot of a great advisors up over them. You see what I'm saying? It take all that because you know some dudes get caught so caught just be so street. I'm gonna tell you like this right here, man. If you got a dude that wanna be a girl, right? You know what I'm saying? And he gonna overdo it when it's time you because you gonna know you gonna like man, that something ain't right. This this it's like a feat. You two female, like that might not, that might be a man. You feel me? But then you got dudes that ain't really street. You see what I'm saying? And jumping in the streets and they overdoing the street shit. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Cause real street niggas like, man, we gotta get out. The, we trying to make it up out of this shit. We trying we, you know, we this ain't what we we trying to stay at in the streets. We trying to make it out the streets. That's real. You see what I'm saying? There's a lot of niggas trying to come in the streets and and play the street role and 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 and, and have the street street swag. But you fucking the game up for the streets because, nigga, we, we probably coming together. We yeah. probably coming together and getting out the way. I got to ask you, you know, like like when I when I look at, you know, the fact of how you went and did that time, the biggest thing that, like when you come home, things done change, man. You know, you got, you got uh, Instagram popping now. You got Facebook. You got new cell phone, iPhones, you know, yeah. uh, six years of long stint. Right. When you come home, what was the biggest thing that stuck out to you? Like, dang, man, this this wild. Oh, um, man, the 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 money. The you money. know, I watch the money. I'm 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 watching artists. I'm watching <laughs> artists that's really having it. Wow. And you can tell they really having it because they having this shit on it. And I'm knowing it ain't just them. It's the labels. You see what I'm saying? So I'm knowing that you know what I'm saying. Like it's some money out here to be gotten. It's a, it's it's some money to be obtained. You see what I'm saying? So. That's that's what I see. I see the money. That's the that's the motivation. What about time. what about uh let's go back to David Street for a second, man, because I was just down there this weekend and just the the, the and I've been down there a few times. Um just the energy and the that, that little that when you turn it so you can go all the way down to where it dead ends at the end down mm-hmm. there. Like where were you at? Were you up the hill or where where were you at on Davis? I'm all over Davis. I'm down the hill. I'm that's my that's my turf all it. Like down the hill, up the hill, really everywhere in Longview, but that's my hood. That's your hood? Yeah, that's my hood. Like, I done trapped in the hole. That's the hole right there. The hole, you know? yeah. I done trapped in there. You know what I'm saying? I done trapped out. I sold crack and ran from laws all through that. Where y'all was standing at, I got caught by the law running from over there. Yeah, you know yeah. Like, 
running around the block with blunts in my ear, young, 15. Yeah, that's oh, just yeah. always the way you, yeah, you yeah, roll that. That was my neighborhood. Wow. And but but you guys grew up there. That's what we people don't up. understand. Like you yeah. you see a lot of guys there and you see at the LDs, you see yeah. you, you see the what's L D uh cause he be over there too. LG. LG. You see uh all of them dudes, man, they they you know, they grew up, now they older men. Yeah. And you know, it, it means so much to see just how you guys have grown up Evolved. now, and now you got yeah. kids and stuff that can look up to y'all, yeah. and, and that Davis Street means something. Because we realized, man, we realized that, you know, and I, I, I definitely, and I know they did too, uh, you realize that you're a big influence on the community. Yeah. You know and when you realize you're a big, big, big influence on the community, you realize that you need to take your leadership role a, a little more serious. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, Man, you know, your grandmother, yeah. I seen on that, that epic video, uh -huh. And I just I, I, I commend you when I seen you praying. That's one of the main drivers that got you in that seat. Yeah. Because I said that's real, man. Like I wish yeah. I had my granny, you know, yeah. my my grandma, my my family, man. And for y'all to pray like she did, yeah. and for you to go, I love that song too, man. Just Appreciate give me an understanding of where you was at when you when you wrote when you penned. That was a few years back though, right? Yeah. So when you penned that, what what was what what inspired that? Um. I know I had to drop a song called Epic because you know how we had, we had I had this in mind that I was gonna come out with this. I was gonna come out with the evolving politically in spite of circumstances. Like I, I know I had to motivate the people. I know I had to motivate. You know what I'm saying? I know it's more than just my people in my city. It's people all around the world that's living just like Longview. Uh, they need to be motivated and inspired that we can go up and we can evolve to. You know what I'm saying? So I knew I had to drop a. The song had to be epic, and it just you know it was just time to do something epic. Do you know you know you realize you was capturing a moment in time when you got your grandma there and she praying and and yeah. and, and, and you know basically that's something that you always have with you. Uh -huh. And I just I, I look at stuff like that and I respect yeah. it on a whole nother level. Yeah, cause my baby my baby left us, man. And so I, she not even around yeah, no she more. Just, she just she uh, just passed away. Just just like uh. Last year, late last year. So you How see old where was I was she? Uh, ninety one. You wow. see, you see where I, and yeah. and and he got that where and I yeah. looked at that man that was heavy. You for can me. always look back on yeah. that and I'm see it. That's, and that's and that's the glue, you mm -hmm. know, that's the glue to my family. Uh, she been a real woman, like you know, what I'm saying and, and 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 really putting a lot of seeds in us, you know, what I'm saying yeah. showing us like. And, and a, a praying woman, you know. A praying God, woman, God, you see God, that on the on the woman, on the. So, you know, yeah, loved it, man. Yeah, so you know she gonna like I say. Taught us to keep God first, so you yeah, know, we we ain't never got away from that. Once you raise up and taught up on that, you know that's you know, hard, man. Knowing that God is real, yeah, yeah, knowing that something bigger than you, man. When I seen that man, like I said, it sent chills over me. Just the the the, the, the realness of it, cause yeah. I'm a country dude, yeah. And, I, yeah. and and when I yeah. seen it, 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 it put me somewhere. That's why that's why I gotta take. I why I try to keep them at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I gotta give them like I can't give them too much of the flash and shit. I, and, and you know I put I put this shit on here and there, but I gotta still take them to the roots of how. You know what I'm saying? What what East Texas really really, really stand on? No, you know? loved it, man. Like I said, um, uh, the mic uh, uh, check that you did on, on listen listen to the bread. I love that song too. Um, when did you do that one? Uh, I think just uh, pilot pilot. That one been recent, ago. yeah. Some like like you had to get that mic check in, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody do it. He's like, I gotta get this mic check in, nigga. One, yeah, yeah. yeah. You killed that hoe too. Yeah, man, same. you killed that hoe. That yeah. hoe beat. Who did? Who produced that beat on that? Uh, Chili man. That's my nigga right there. I yeah, like that little man. nigga, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Brother, man, brother, man. So how you and him, how did you and, and, and Trilly Millie like even link up? Because this boy here, man, he done put his hands on a lot of different things, and people don't realize that he like a sleeping giant in the, in, in the Longview area, man. man. say, man, Trilly Millie, I can go all the way back to when Trilly Millie was, uh, let me think his old name. See, his old name was- uh, He said it on here, didn't he? Uh, damn, let me think of his name. Is, is it right down? I can't remember his uh, name. Oh, Trilly Millie was uh, Mastermind. Mastermind. See, we was making songs then. Wow. He he produced that whole uh, Back in the Trap volume, 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 volume two. Volume, okay. Volume two. He gave me all the instruments, recorded everything. He was already, this one we was, this was like 2010. Are you proud of him when you see him like doing what he doing with uh, Pass E and T with Mama Scott oh, and him? Definitely, I support him. He That's was just, hard, ain't he it? He was just with me, like we were just we were just uh, in, 
in the bins crawling through Longview uh, this weekend. Man, you know, I, I, I love I love the you know the genuineness of Mama Scott, man. Yeah, that's so, my brother, yeah. And, yeah, and you know, and, and just that's, the, that's, they whole they whole chemistry. Good people, and and it's genuine, genuine that, people, that, that's man. The, that's the thing, that's, and and she know I love her to death. Yeah, that's mama, that's mama, man. That's my, and she, that's what she is. She yeah. a mama, she a mama figure to a lot of those guys, and just her energy. Even when we went down there for uh, fast bash when they shut she, us down, she don't do nothing but show. Man, love. she always show love. She don't show love. She don't do no more show love and and I be I always have to tell her I'm squat could worry about them nigga man that's real Cause she she you know what I'm saying she get in it she go go right I here. know I be telling about that too but she you can't stop but yeah, she, she gonna put it down she, do, yeah, she gonna do, yeah. I, I don't know try it there, yeah. she, she ain't trying she to go, that. she gonna go in when she, she go she in for what she believe in man but that's a great woman man I'm talking about a great person uh full of love that's why that's why I fuck with her because simple fact. I I I got down a bachelor degree on people, so wow. you know what I'm saying. So I I know I can recognize when a person is good hearted. That's so it. That's all that matters. That's people. real, bro. Yeah. Yeah, um, sure. Man, so um, what what do you think the biggest song you and you and you and Old Trillet done put together? The one you you you, you like the most? Oh. Uh, Probably Boss in My City. Mm -hmm. Boss in My City? Yeah, Boss in My City. That's an old one, you know what I'm saying? That's an old one. <laughs> How old was y'all when y'all did that? Man, in the 20s. Yeah, in the 20s, man. I know, and he probably was in, he probably was a teen. Mm -hmm. You know, he a little younger than me, so that's a little oh, bro. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's hard, man. Um, that keep grinding, man. Uh, so, so, and I know you just did that one a little while back. Um, what 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 inspired that one? The, the hustle for sure. Yeah, man, and I just want to take it to another level. Like the grind is everything. The grind ain't, is the grind ain't just hustling. The grind is working. The grind for real. The grind, they just keep grinding. Like keep going. Like even telling myself, you know what I'm saying? Because I had to tell myself that coming out of prison, like. Hey man, just keep grinding, man. Man, you had people, to yeah. People ain't gonna people ain't gonna believe in your vision until they see it. But just keep grinding; they'll come along. But when you know something to be true in your heart, like 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 I was telling you the other day, the product of something. You said I'm just talking to myself. You remember that? Mm -hmm. And I said, baby, you, I said you just talking to yourself. I said the product of son thought to himself in in, in Luke chapter I think 15, mm -hmm. yeah. and he said he thought to himself, how many hired servants do my father have? And yeah. then he got up and he said, I'm gonna go to my father. And when he was on the way, his father seen him and put a ring on his finger. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? And then yeah. told him to kill the fatted calf. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah. like it was a celebration for him coming home. Yeah, don't make me go there. Oh, you talking about the project? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? That's, yeah. that's 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 real talk. Like, yeah, go, like, yeah, like, like, like when you win. we yeah. when you go home, when you come back. It's come on, man, it's big. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that's yeah. That's we feel the celebrate. We celebrate. That's the come. celebration they was talking about earlier. Yeah. When you say, "Well, I don't know what they doing this for," because people want to see you win, brother. But you know what? You know what I say right now about that? That celebration wasn't should have been the celebration. Of who I am now. There it is. You see what I'm saying. So they celebrated too early. Yeah, they celebrate because you I'm, and you know you 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 celebrating. I'm home, but I'm really not home. Yeah, because I'm not home up here. That's real. You see what I'm that's saying? real. I'm right with we you. We should celebrate who I am now. Now that's you know real. What I'm saying? But and, the celebration ain't ain't as big now. Yeah, huh? nah, it ain't. You see what I'm saying? Because people can't but, see. But, but that's the way it be because God got something special in you. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of times, people not going to be able to tap into that. Yeah. That fleshly thing, that carnal thing, they yeah. can get that all yeah, day. Yeah. But that thing in that heart, nah, it's nah, hard for them to nah, see it. Yeah. I can go there because I, I, I'm i a reader, bro. So yeah. in, the, when, in that book, when you look at Saul, I mean, uh, in, uh, and you've seen Saul, the people pick Saul. Yeah. But God picked David. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> because David was little, and it, it, he didn't even look the part. Mm -mm. But yeah. Saul looked like he was a big guy, but but, but the people picked Saul. The yeah, but they, God picked for the heart. They going out David heart, and his heart was big. That's it. And you I see what I'm saying? Heart. And you know what? So many times I could have shrink my heart from all the times it got played on, but I kept, I I continue to keep it big because I wasn't gonna let nobody change uh, who I am That's as real. a person. And so many people. Uh, turn into whatever you call a slime or whatever, yeah. Because they didn't got cross, yeah, you see yeah, what I'm for sure. So because a bunch of niggas when they get cross, she I got cross, I'm gonna cross another nigga. That's you it. Cross me, I'm gonna cross them. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I never let niggas, cause niggas cross me to turn me into a slime ball. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. Yeah, that ain't me. I don't, I don't knock what they do because I know it's a part of the streets. I just never. I just feel like if if I'm a 
if I'm gonna be a real one out the real, that's how I'm gonna stay. That's real. You see what I'm saying? Respect. I just know how now I know how to see it when I see it and, and cut it out off the real. Man, what was that name of that song you and LD done? Y'all on this new new project. LD just dropped that Davis Street. Uh you talking about the uh three side, east side. Three side, east side, yes yeah. sir. What uh what wh how did he end up reaching out to you to even do that one? Man, you know it's a David Street album. Man. I know it, but I know it, but just just what it had to be on yeah, there, right? So how did he? What did he, he call gonna, you? Did he, he call gonna, you? He call. We talk all the time. Of course, man. but what he say? We gonna put you on this project with me? He's well. He actually, I got a song. I need you on. And you know, he he's strict to the point. So, and he he and you know, I'm, I'm like, all right, send it. You yeah, know? yeah, and yeah. He sent it, and I and I. Jumped on it, sent it back to him, and he, he was, and, and it went from. That whole hard too, dog. I exactly. like that old man. I exactly. listened to it this morning when I was walking. Yeah, I be mean, yeah. walking in the morning. I didn't know how I was gonna come on it because he went so hard. Man, that nigga bad, dog. He you know he so bad. Hard, and I was like, man, but you know, bad too. You can call you. You had, you had your own. Yeah, I had the whole mom. Yeah. I always do. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie. I like. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta. I gotta go in. This nigga here doing he he everywhere on the song. Exactly. So how how what like like Al D, did you ever see him like this dude came out when he came home, you know how many projects he put out, bro? Yeah, yeah he came out. Like that nigga work ethic different. He he hungry, man. He been gone for a minute. So, you know, and this was his dream before he left. Wow. So, you know, he, he just he just wanna do it just because this what he loved. You know, he loved to talk shit, he loved to rap, he loved to make music. He just do it in whatever God Allow it to do. That's what he on. You, you know proud of him for you know this I gotta be. I gotta be because what, what, when he win, I win. That's real. You see what I'm saying? So and I know regardless, I, just because he's a winner, I'm a winner. Correct. He ain't got to give me nothing. You see people yeah. like Greg Street. You see people like Mac Ten. You see Lil Kiki, Big Pokey. You see all these different people that's uh, Pow Wow uh -huh. tapping in with Al D. Man, how how how, how big is that? Man, that's real big because you know we grew up. That's a dream come true, especially for him and people from the from the neighborhood. So you know, people proud. You know what I'm saying? You so many that's proud. It might be some that's hey, but there's so many that's proud of what he's doing because these are people we grew up watching and want to be around and and they embracing him. You know what I'm saying? So you know, it's it's, it's a big it's it's a, it's a dream come true for him. Man, to see you know, Kiki down there like that the yeah, other day, man, man on Davis on, Street. I'm a big fan of Kiki. And Kiki, Kiki down there on Davis Street. My whole hood like a big fan of Kiki. Like, we can, like Kiki, we ain't talking about Kiki now. We can go all the way back to the great taste with Kiki. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. In my hood, you know what I'm saying? We, I, I, actually, I went, we went to the show that night when I got down there. And, and uh, we, I done met Kiki a couple times, a few times, shook his hand. But this is the night he performing. I just wanted to let him know. I was right out. I, I don't want to be on stage. I want to be right there front. Like, I want to be right there. I'm a fan, man. So I want to show you. You a fan? I'm, I'm and you rocking that whole go right with you. <laughs> That's hard, man. Love him <laughs> to see him on David Street. Like, what, did you you made it over there? Eco, I left early. Did you you did you see him out there on Davis? Yeah, nah, I didn't get to see him. In you the ain't hood. get to see that him. That would have been amazing. I, but you can look at my video. I, I seen it on you the video. See I seen him on the bottom <laughs> three hundred side. So I, you know, it's, I big 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 salute to Key man for real. Man, that's hard. He man, came I, to the hood and he been screaming and showing love. Man, to him. that's amazing. You know what I'm that's saying? Very that's very amazing, amazing man. Home. And you know that that I can't wait till that that video come out. That's gonna be yeah, hard. Yeah, nigga. yeah, yeah. That thing gonna go hard. I yeah. seen it. I I got that footage, man. Yeah, I, and I got to get to. Some, I think I, I I've been jamming the album anyway. So he didn't know. Ald didn't know. I knew his verse like that. Like really, they they like how you know this? I don't got to hear the song and all the words. I I'm on this album, man. Man, you love yeah. and, 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 and 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 them your guys, but, but man. He, he been inspired me though. Like people wouldn't know it. Like on his first album, uh, Ald, uh. Ald Aldarius Rage, uh, that first album right there, like he inspired my music to be able to talk about something. Wow! Like you know what I'm saying? Because he was already telling stories. I just I just tell it in my way. I just do it a little. You know, I'm the, I'm the little bro, so you know I'm gonna try to spice it up a little more. Yeah, more. yeah, yeah. He inspired a lot. Wow, yeah. man! For you two guys, as much as y'all been through, for y'all y'all the way you've been being in and out of the system, for him to come out after doing, he did a total of 17 years. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you did a total of how many? 
Six. You did six. Oh, no, in total, total you did six the last like ten by eleven. Yeah. So you did by eleven. He did about seventeen. Mm -hmm. Like man, and then y'all still come back and be out here on the album together. Uh, then, yeah. then you got uh, filmed by Miyagi out here, yeah. who was locked up with which with him. Yeah, did you ever yeah. do time with LD? I don't think uh, so. Uh, did. We we crossed paths. He came through East Ham while I was there, and he started shooting weird. He was over there. Oh, that, yeah. So. Uh, he, I ain't get to see him or whatever, but yeah, he was. That's he, that y'all right cross paths, you know? man. You know, but to see y'all come home, man, and to see y'all get it together and get it right. Yeah, because all y'all working because together. Because it's always bigger than music with us. You know what I'm saying? It's wow. always bigger than music because we already know we got a big influence on the community. We just be want to inspire people just to do do what you love, man, and, and get some get some pipe off of, and and probably listen to the music and get. You know, jam it, but might, you might can get something out of it. Wow. You know. Man, so man, how can, top three artists of all time, dead or alive? Any genre. Top three dead artists of alive. all time, dead Any or alive. Genre. Any genre. Number one. I got to go with Jay-Z. Jay-Z? Dang. I got to go you know, with I'll be jealous about that when it yeah. come down yeah. to Pimp not, not my number one. Not, not my number one is going to be Fat Pat. Hey, my number one gonna be Fat Pat. Number right? one, Fat Pat. Yeah. I Did you take you didn't take that copy me? Cause I, I, I no, love no, Jay Z. No, no. Jay Z a hell of an no, entrepreneur. No, no. Jay Z, Jay Z. Yeah, he he's in my he's in my he's top in your three, top three. Now, who's your number number? Uh, the Jay your number two. Jay, I got Jay Z number Jay, three. Jay, Jay, Jay really. I got to put him at. It's, it's, it, I can't have no number because <laughs> because they all number ones to me. Like, okay, you know, who's they, your next one? Uh, I gotta go with Pimp C. Man, that's the I'm gonna get mad at. I'm gonna even put the video. I'm gonna even put the video out. I did. I did the deep in the game way back. The deep in the game came from Pimp C. <laughs> I'm deep in the game. Yeah, it's too late. I'm deep, deep in. It ain't nothing about me. Scary, man. You know, I, I go back to, all the way to the pimp, man. I, and I, it, it, like I say, my life been inspired by pimp for real. Like my my music probably been inspired by Fat Pad. You know the the sauce he had. You know the the, the but but. Pimp C inspired my life with a lot of these C's. Like, you know, if you niggas come together, know how much paper we can see. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and I'm big on that because niggas is so split apart and niggas is steady trying to top each other and, and they don't know, man. Like, it's so easy for everybody to get some money, man. Real talk. Together. Top. together. Real I'm talking top. About if, if I told a million people, man, we're going to get a million to jam his song, we're going to get a million. Everybody gets some money. Mm. That's all it's about. <laughs> But it's so many niggas that want to have it and hope that the next man don't get it. Wow. Man, you, you're a dope dude, man. Like I said, I knew this was going to be a nice interview for me just because you from East Texas and because yeah. I be, you know, I love my East Texas crew, man. Don't, these niggas ain't going to never be able to, you know, I, I'm that nigga that can skin a deer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, don't country, never forget that. Yeah, you know country, what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I'm that nigga that can, I, I know how to go out and get my food and cook it outside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Although you haven't done it in years, you don't have to. It's it got it's in you. Yeah. Mm. When you lived it, you it's in you. Yeah. But see, I want that country. No, you are not country like that. Cause I'm from by Cato Lake. Yeah, like so I tell you, 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 you out there. I'm you, a yeah. real like she know where I'm from. Ain't no lights. Yeah, it's dog. Real, real, I real. know. Nah, yeah. Them nigga, them nigga might skin you. Yeah. Them nigga might skin your back, skin off your back out there. But no, I just you know, like I said, man. Thank you so much, man, uh, for coming on the show, man. Oh, How can man. people get a hold of you, man? If they look at you, follow me on Instagram, Bigger Bag Tim, Bigger Bag Tim on Facebook, uh, Bigger Bag Tim on Twitter. Big, you know, I'm, I'm everywhere. Just Bigger Bag Tim, and I'm gonna follow you back. You know wow, what I'm man. Yeah. Like I said, man, you one of them ones, man. That I, I, I like I said, I, I knew already you were special, man. Appreciate uh, it. Because of what you've been through. It ain't got nothing to do with the music for uh -huh. me. It's just because of what you've been through and yes, you're still sir. here. Still here. I think like that, bro. Still going. She know how I am. Am I like that? Mm -hmm. I be looking at the whole thing from a different yeah. angle. Niggas I'm be coming telling me about the music first. I be like, I don't care nothing yeah. about that. Man, I care Boston. about you, bro. I'm on Boss Talk, man. <laughs> you know, I made it to Boss Talk. This, <laughs> hey, this is my first interview right here. Really? It's yeah. big, huh? And everybody been calling me, talking about doing it. This is the first one. This is so the hardest I'm, I'm one, too. You hear what I say? This is the hardest yeah, we, one. We got, we got some deep stuff. Ooh, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I be meddling, man. No, nah, but it's going to be many more, too. Yeah, Anytime sure. you're doing a project or if it's something that you're trying to lock sure. into, just let me know, man. For like sure. I said, I should have got them 16 bars up out of you. Because I, I know already, you know what I'm saying? I could have You put ready the, to put it down? Man, y'all put the beat on. I'm going to think of something. Oh, no. Let, and you, all you got to do is talk right into that mic, nigga, and go in. Oh.
Let's go, man. Boss Talk 101, man. Bigger Bag T, I'm in the building. Yeah, man. East Texas, man. Stand up. Let's go. Let that hoe come in. Let that hoe come in. It got a hell of a drop. It stops. Then that drop. I like that hoe. You hear it? Watch. Here it go right there. You can't hear it. Man. Let's go Boss Talk 101. Bigger Bag T, I'm in the building, y'all. Stop playing, man. East Texas in the building, y'all. Let's go. That dirty money got me dirty looks. If I were blind, bitch, I can still tell how them birds look. Let's Cut go. off my hand, bitch, I'm still gonna get them birds cooked. They hook like that nigga that got that no dirty look. I don't play, fuck reset. I'm fuck rich, some sleepless. I'm up, bitch, like a hard on. Your boy won't under that knee drip. Diamond chili like TLC. Treat the beans like a DLC. Chopper died, this TOD fits. Taking pictures like TNT. Let's go. 9,000 watts, no micro. Got a Swiss and hot, and they like the spot. Got cush corn, pines are raging for the old heads that like the pot. I like to shop at the gallery, and my band is trying to win the ballerina. I'm looking for a life future or temptation. Haven't seen her. Man. Give me on your tippy toe, not do the split. Standing up by BB, she ski, not me. Stamina, flip her on her back, skid on her stomach, now what's that? Wet back, I'm up on her stomach, skid on her back, now what's that? Wet back. Man. Ride out with them curves, sit in my lap, major setback, fuck wet crack, we on hard zone. Sit in the trap to the hard gone, so the real poke like Facebook, call gorilla poke, that hard on. Man, that stop playing, man. Get out of here, man. Stop playing, man. Check it, man. Check it, man. My boy man just went out through that bigger bag team, man. I mean that nigga rap all night in there, nigga. Stop playing. I just gotta bring that boy back, yeah. Man, no, man, thank you, man, so much. Much, man, I appreciate you for coming on Boss Talk 101, man, where the bosses talk, man. Uh, man, uh, hey, man, it's been another great segment, man. Uh, that's what it's all about, man. Bigger Bag Tim came through and blessed our game, man. It's a Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we yes, out. Yes, sir.